I had I had a student who. Um, it, this is a small story, but I think it's a big story um, in other ways. Because there have been st students who have blown my mind, um, the things that they've done in their projects and just generally. But this was a student, when we first start to share, I try to share in small, small groups, and I ask them to read one sentence of something that they've written and what, how do they feel about it. And, you know, we got to this student, and he was so anxious about sharing one sentence that he couldn't speak, like he was ready to cry. My name is Justin, and I want to share what it's like to be schizophrenic. This is where we live. Today we're learning about Write On, a program that helps young adults write about their mental illness as a way to break down stigma surrounding mental health issues. I've used writing in my life, and my whole life basically, to sort of help me better understand like what is going on, <laughs> both externally and internally. You know, and sometimes I'm more successful than others, you know, as with everything. Write for five minutes, write for 10 minutes. Don't beat yourself up over the other 50. That not only helped our writing, but I think that's a very applicable way of thinking about dealing with your mental illness. Those thoughts and fears and anxieties are in your brain and it's like this gray sludge. And as soon as you can put it on paper and see it in black and white, like it takes that power away from it and all of a sudden that power is in your hands. If you give yourself five minutes, 10 minutes to kind of sit down and process, well, that can be enough for now. I had a difficult childhood. I was always antisocial and never played well with others. I'm trying to use this program to help people understand that A, everybody can write, and that you can use this kind of tool regularly or periodically to sort of make sense of things. I'm slowly learning to love all that I am and all that I have to offer. Looking at it like it's a choice gives me the opportunity to see the progress I am making, though sometimes it's hard. But here, and at certain places where those with us with mental illnesses gather, there's community, there's love, there's friendships. Thank you. He got done, and he goes over, he bursts into tears over on the sidelines. Like he's, he, you know, while he's reading, he's near the end and he's almost, you know, like I was at the beginning of this, like he's just holding it together. He gets done, he gets hugs from the group, people in the group. And he has now gone on to speak publicly at some events that we've had. He's joined a diversity and sort of inclusion awareness group at his company and is speaking to them around mental health issues. And I, that's amazing to me. It's amazing to me.